Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our assembly today. We're going to start with worship, and we'll be reading part of Psalm 136 together. The words will appear on the screen, so please read along with me. Give thanks to the Lord, because he is good. His love continues forever. Give thanks to the God over all gods. His love continues forever. Give thanks to the Lord of all lords. His love continues forever. Only he can do great miracles. His love continues forever. This term, we're learning about people who met Jesus. They had an encounter with him and their lives were changed. Last week, we heard about two sisters, Mary and Martha, who became great friends with Jesus. I wonder if you've ever given up anything. Maybe you've given up chocolate for Lent. Maybe you've given clothes or toys away to charity. Maybe you've tried really hard to give up playing computer games too often or staying up too late at night. I wonder what would be the hardest thing to give up if someone asked you. Maybe it depends what you're giving it up for. In our story with the fishermen, they gave up everything, their job, their family, friends and homes, just to follow Jesus. It seemed to be easy for them, but is it easy for everyone? Our story today is about a young man who met Jesus. This young man was rich and he was an important person in the community. This is what happened when he met Jesus. You can read about it in the Bible in Luke chapter 18. A Jewish leader asked Jesus, Good teacher, what must I do to get the life that continues forever? Jesus said to him, Why do you call me good? Only God is good. You know the commands. You must not murder anyone. You must not steal. You must not tell lies about your neighbor in court. Honor your father and mother. But the leader said, I have obeyed all these commands since I was a boy. When Jesus heard this, he said to him, but there is still one more thing you need to do. Sell everything you have and give the money to the poor. You will have a reward in heaven. Then come and follow me. But when the man heard this, he became very sad because he was rich. When Jesus saw that the man was sad, he said, it will be very hard for rich people to enter the kingdom of God. It would be easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich person to enter the kingdom of God. This man thought he was doing everything right. He followed all the commandments and he obeyed God. He had an important job in the community. Surely that would be enough to become part of God's family, to follow Jesus and to have life that lasts forever. But Jesus says, no, that's not enough. It's not enough to just do the right things and obey the laws. This man has to do something even harder. He has to be willing to sell everything he has and give all of the money to the poor. How does that sound to you? Imagine you were very rich. Maybe when you're older, you earn a lot of money. You've got a gorgeous house, a fast car, and you can afford anything you want. How would you feel about giving all of that up? Would it be easy? For the man who met Jesus, it was too hard. The Bible says he became very sad. We don't actually know how this encounter with Jesus changed him, as it doesn't tell us. Does he sell everything? Or does he just carry on with life and enjoy his riches? We don't know. But maybe his life changed because of how he thought about everything he had. Maybe he realized that helping the poor was more important than being rich. And maybe he realized that following Jesus wasn't about keeping laws, but about loving and serving others. So now let's still our bodies and still our minds as we reflect on what we've heard and pray to God. Lord Jesus, thank you that you want everyone to be part of your family. Thank you that you love everyone equally and that you want us to love and serve all of those who are in need. Help us not to get too attached to all of the things we have, like money or clothes or toys and games. 
Help us to hold on to them lightly and to be willing to give them up for others who need them. Amen. So we say together, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. So we've reached the end of our assembly for today. Thank you so much for listening and for joining in. We end by saying, go in the light of Christ. Thanks be to God.